Greetings and welcome to another week that we get to spend time together in God's Word and pray with each other as we journey day by day through this week. This week, I just want us to reflect on a very simple theme, but uh, it is a theme that we need to revisit uh, from time to time. And I want us to talk about living with purpose. And uh, some of these truths are actually very, very simple truths. And yet uh, these are very important uh, to keep us going and keep us focused uh, in our journey of faith. First of all, we want to begin with this simple understanding that God has a purpose for each of us. None of us are accidents on the earth. It doesn't matter what your background is, uh, what your upbringing in life is, what you, you know, which family you've been born in and what kind of, wherever you are, you are not an accident. You have been born on this earth by divine purpose. That means God has had, has a purpose in you being on earth. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, and of course God is speaking to his people, a big community of people, and he's telling them, I know the thoughts I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. God is speaking to the community of people. Of course, there'll be you know probably thousands of people listening to this word, to whom the word applies. But it's also true in the life of every individual, every one of them. And so also it's true for us. Yes, there are millions, billions of people on the earth. But this word is true for each one of the million, million and billion people on the earth. It's true for each one of us. God is saying to you, I know the plans I have for you or the thoughts I have for you, the dreams I have for you, the purposes I have for you, I know. And it is for your good, it is not to destroy you, it is not to harm you. It is to give you a future. It is to give you a future that is full of hope, that is full of well-being, full of peace. And that is what God is saying to you and me. You and I must understand that God has a plan, God has a purpose, God has a dream for you, for your life. And it is with that dream He released you on the earth. And so today, you must be so confident. I am on this earth with a divine purpose. I have a part to play. For the kingdom of God. God created me with a purpose He had in mind. And that should inspire us. It should also motivate us to want to discover that purpose and fulfill that purpose. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. Discover it. Fulfill it. We'll talk more about this this week. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you have thoughts, plans, dreams for each one. For each one listening, I pray that they will be inspired to know that the God of heaven has a specific plan for their lives. May each one of us discover it, pursue it, and fulfill it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.